Hey everyone, it's Bert from Season Gaming, and now that all the hype from E3 and the tons of games that were shown from Gamescom these past couple weeks, we're finally coming upon September, and we have a lot of games to talk about that are coming out for September 2017. Let's take a look at what's coming out. So NAC 2 kicks it off, and NAC 2 is coming out on September 5th, 2017. After a somewhat critically low score NAC 1, which was a launch title from Sony PS4, Sony has promised this game to have a lot more to offer and a lot more fun with co-op. This is currently an exclusive only in the console realm, but we should be getting a lot more from from this one, and let's see what finally happens when the reviews start to come out. The big juggernaut for September is going to be Destiny 2. We've heard so much about this game for a long time, it's been hyped up at E3, it's been hyped up at Gamescom, and we're expecting it to come out on PS4 and Xbox One on September 6th of 2017. If you do have a high-powered console, that might be the place you want to play due to the better resolution and also the higher frame rate. The, currently, the frame rates are being capped at 30 frames per second on PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X, but we're being promised a great experience on console as well. For the sports fans out there, one of the better and most acclaimed soccer games that's coming out, or football known in Europe, is Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. This one hits the stores on September 12th of 2017, right around the corner, and the cool one about this one is that it's coming out on every single console, including last gen. We're looking at PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. So those last gen software titles are still around if you can catch them with certain games. Also known as the best sports game from the NBA realm, NBA 2K18 does join our ranks on September 15th, 2017. Now this one does promise to have a few new modes and a few Legends modes that we've talked about when we talked about the new releases coming out. This one's also coming out on current gen and previous gens, including PC, so you can get them on all gens, including if you only have the old ones. So a lot of fun coming from that one. We're not expecting any huge changes here, but this is always a great game and pretty much one of the best games you can play if you want the NBA experience. After the canceled game from last year, NBA Live 2018 returns to consoles. This one's unfortunately only coming out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It also launches the same date on September 15th, 2017. Curiously enough, this game's not being priced at a full $59.99 and can currently be pre-ordered for $39.99. Let's hope this one has a lot more to offer and is kind of a launching pad for games that come in the future. One of the biggest fighting games of the year that's been talked about for a while and has a huge expectation to prove is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This game's packing a 30 character roster coming from Marvel and Capcom and is going to be launching on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. This one launches around the middle of the month on September 19, 2017, and this is also known as the more casual of the Marvel vs. Capcom series, so let's hope it offers the fun and personally the competitive nature that the previous Marvel vs. Capcoms have been able to offer. It looks great from what we're seeing so far. It should be fun to play for everybody. One of the biggest games coming from the Nintendo realm is Pokken Tournament DX. This is the remake, or I guess you could call it a remaster from the Wii U version that launched last year. The difference on this one, it is the Deluxe, so it is going to have two new Pokemon, and everything will be optimized for the Nintendo Switch. This does come out towards the end of the month. You're looking at September 22nd on this one, and it should have a lot of fun offer for people that missed it on the Wii U, and you should be able to have a lot of fun keeping the Pokemon hype going as high as it can go. Fallout 4 is finally getting their Game of the Year edition. It is going to be including the Pip-Boy if you miss it during the pre-orders of the original launch Fallout 4. What makes this one special and what causes for the $99.99 price tag? Well, you do get the base game as well as all DLC that has been released, the poster that was promised, and also the Pip-Boy. So this one's going to be coming out for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, September 26th. So get your hands on this if you miss the original Pip-Boy. One of our most hyped games for the fall is finally coming out after years and years of delay. It's Cuphead. Cuphead's coming out on PC and Xbox One. This is at the very end of the month on September 29th. We can't wait to get our hands on this one. We've been waiting for a while. And after everything we've seen and everything that's been talked about at Gamescom, it's looking even harder and funner than we ever could have expected. The biggest soccer game in the world that everybody seems to buy and is one of the biggest selling games is coming out this month. It's FIFA 2018. This is the last of our titles this month that does come out on every single console, including PC. So if you still have the Xbox 360 and PS3 and you still are hanging on to that, this might be the game to pick up for it. This this does also launch on September 29th, 2017, and is promised to have a whole bunch of new features for gameplay, and the story mode is continuing, so if you played that last year, this should be a lot of fun. 
Lastly, out of the big titles this month, Forza Motorsport 7 Ultimate Edition. Key thing here is that this is the Ultimate Edition, not the Standard Edition of the game. Ultimate Edition buyers do get this a little bit early. This is coming out on September 29th. Uh, it's also coming for the PC and Xbox One. One of the key things here is all the enhancements and all the talk coming with the Xbox One X is not until November. So we'll see what kind of sales come out on this game because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be waiting for that Xbox One X. The game looks beautiful. It is offering a roster of cars, over 700 cars, and numerous tracks to attend. So hopefully you have fun with this one if you are grabbing that Ultimate Edition at the end of the month. So what's big in the DLC realm coming out? So DLC tends to kind of come out at certain waves of the year. The big ones for September is going to be Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Now this is also a standalone title, so you do not need Dishonored 2 to actually play this game. This game launches on September 15th. It is available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. For big fans of the Injustice 2 series, Fighter Pack 2 is going to be releasing on September 12th. That is coming out for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. If you are a big fan of Hellboy, he's going to be joining the series, as well as Raiden and Black Manta. So this tends to be one of the better fighter packs that we've seen. A lot of people did not see Hellboy coming at all, so this should be a lot of fun. And in between now and the 12th, we'll be seeing a lot of trailers as to how these people are fighting. As of now, Black Manta's trailer has come out, and you've been able to see all of his gameplay and his moves and his special moves, so a lot of fun. So what's new with Games with Gold this month? So Forza 5 Game of the Year Edition is available September 1st all the way through September 30th. You have Oxenfree also coming out. This one's going to be available on September 16th through October 15th. The game trailing over from last month through the 15th of September is Trials Fusion. So that's a great game to play if you've never played it before. Make sure to grab it before it's gone because once it's gone it goes back to normal price on the arcade. So coming from the 360 side, these are also going to be available backwards compatible on the day they release is Hydro Thunder Hurricane. This was a fun game that kind of takes the inspiration from the original Hydro Thunder game. This one is available on 360 and Xbox One on September 1st through the 15th. Coming on the other side of the month for Xbox 360, which is backwards compatible on Xbox One, is Battlefield 3. This one's going to be available September 16th through the 30th. On the PSN Plus side of things, you're getting Infamous Second Son, which is a great launch title if you love the Infamous series, Strike Vector EX in the North America region, which is a shooter game that's known to have a lot of fun, Child of Light if you're in the European region. So if you're in the North America region, you're actually not getting Child of Light, which is a great game. Instead, you're getting Strike Vector EX. And lastly, there's a little app game called That's You. It's actually been free for a while and will be free for the rest of the fall. That's free, and you're able to get that through PSN+. Plus. You can use your phone and do some fun and games with that one. Anyways, that's it for September. Thanks for joining us, folks. Hopefully you pick up something fun, and join us next time.